All right, guys, one more user requested uh, coin to do technical analysis on. And this one is ApeCoin. I have the caution up there. Be very careful. Let's see what I am looking at. Jumping into the chart. All right, so this was my previous analysis. And I apologize. I didn't take away all the noise. I probably should do that. Um, but I won't waste your time doing that right now. So immediately here on the daily, everything looks okay. However, you can see small signs of a potential head and shoulders pattern. All right. Now right here, there's a little blue line. That is the beginning of the 50 day moving average. We are resting on that 50 day moving average. That is good support. So that's a good indicator the RSI is down here in medium territory plenty of room to the upside but also plenty of room to the downside as I always do with any of these altcoins I reference our leader the big dog Bitcoin what is it doing today <laughs> crashing hard I mean down 7.31 percent thus far now I have good support drawn out here on our RSI chart and I expect that most probably uh, Bitcoin doesn't just come crashing through all of this support. All right, we had we had at the start of this candle 39300 good support. We had the ascending black trend line good support although becoming weaker because we keep cutting through that. We had the top of this descending bullish wedge as good support, at which point I thought we might do the patented kiss mama goodbye and up and out, but that did not happen. Broke through that as well as 37,550 support. That is also huge support and the bottom of this wedge. And we're continuing to bliss at a blistering pace, just sell. And now we're uh, down on this RSI support. All right. So my expectation, though, is that uh, we're not just going to break through all of that with a little bit of a uh, pull up at the end of the day. So I, I expect that we might close back inside of this wedge. What does that mean for us? Well, I think we stay below this black ascending trend line. And actually, I posted a chart here on Wednesday that indicated that, right? I said, if the Fed raises rates 50 basis points and then talks softer on the next rate increase, like, say, 25, or just alludes to the fact that they won't be as harsh next time on the uh, uh, rate hikes, then we'll go into this yellow territory. <coughs> Excuse me. But if the Fed... Uh, raises rates 50 basis points and promises the next one will also be 50, which is essentially what it did, will stay in this pinkish territory. If the Fed pulls the rug on us and raises it 70 fa 75 basis points, which they did not, we'll drop below the 75, 550 support. Now, currently we are below that, yes, but we have not confirmed. Remember, I always like to see confirmation on the daily. That means this candle has to close below the 37,550. The next one has to close below 37,550. And often I like to see three candles. Now, if you're impatient, then that's hard to wait three days on big moves like this. I understand that. But I've just been at crypto this long I can stomach a lot of up and downs I've just I just see it all the time and a lot of it's just uh, a little bit of manipulation head fakes and we have lots of psychology going into this one because the VIX is fully spiked let's jump to our leaders here because this is all relevant guys before I get started with the ape coin uh, analysis the VIX has spiked almost 25% today. The dollar is up over a percent. You cannot hardly, I, 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 I've never seen it. You, you cannot see a market going, going up with that kind of a spike on the VIX and the dollar. It, it just doesn't happen, never does. So of course that is all spilling over into Bitcoin, which is considered still 
a more speculative asset uh, in comparison. So anyways, we have Bitcoin really uh, selling. The sellers are selling hard today. Uh, my only hope is this RSI acting as support along with the bottom of this wedge. And then we stay in this pinkish territory for the next month or two. All right. Um, we'll see if that happens. OK, so anywho, we have to use that as our reference before we begin any sort of authentic and integrous analysis on any of these altcoins. All right. So ApeCoin, here we are. And I believe we have just fallen below that 50 day moving average because I don't see it any longer. And it was right under the candle here. And I think that candle is possibly covering it up and i want to show you i said at the beginning of this video i said be careful i apologize for all the noise but we're going to zoom into the four hour chart and see if you can just follow this with me all right so here's our four hour chart and again i am seeing definitely a head and shoulders pattern and that's not good guys that's bearish all right so if i draw from right around here let's just see where this goes look at that look at that that is a head and shoulders pattern clear as day i mean it is just a beautiful head and shoulders pattern actually so you want to be <laughs> very cautious here i mean i am not entering a trade like this no way no way in hell am i going to enter here this is a bear this is a, definitely a bearish head and shoulders pattern and you can almost tell exactly where you're going to go if you break that neckline you take the measurement from the top of the head to the neckline that tells you where you're going to go let's see where our target down is target down all the way down to four dollars and thirty cents that's scary stuff guys so if this uh red candle break that neckline ape is actually going down to four dollars and 29 cents so i would not enter here unless this pattern is invalidated when is the pattern invalidated well i mean you really you want to break above the uh right shoulder here which was this wick high so you want to have you want to see the price action go all the way back above the 100 day moving average or the 100 candle moving average excuse me because we are on the four hour chart and so you want to see the price really i wouldn't want to get back into this trade unless it was over 18 dollars again i would de definitely wouldn't be entering here this is way too risky the pattern suggests and these head and shoulders patterns don't always play out but it suggests you're going all the way down to $4.29. Uh, I know that's not the news you wanted to hear, those of you who requested, because that's lower than we've ever been. And you might not go all the way down there. You may come down to the last body candle printed on this uh, chart. All right, that would be $8.10. All right, either way, this is not a coin I am currently interested in and wouldn't even think about entering anything right here that's just what i see on the charts i provide you with analysis guys and you requested this i'm sorry it's not something that gives you positive news and i'll probably get dislikes but i'm just reading the chart don't shoot the messenger please i'm just giving you my honest opinion here and uh for me it's just not something i'm interested in Again, I always say I could be dead wrong about all of this. And if you think I am, dude, you have your own free will. You do what you want. But this is a coin I am totally not interested in here. Now, you need confirmation on that head and shoulders pattern. You want to see another candle printed on the four hour chart below that neckline. Draw it out on your own charts. And you want to see another candle after that open and close below that neckline for confirmation that that's going to play out. Otherwise, it might not be a valid head and shoulders pattern. So in conclusion, APE has reached my previous targets. All right. 
they, it reached the target up I had at $20 and surpassed that, went all the way up to $28. Uh, at that point, if I was in the trade, I would have traded out completely 100%, taken my profits. I'd be in cash right now if I was looking to re-enter. I really wouldn't want to re-enter until we got all the way down between that, somewhere around that four, between four and eight dollars. That's where I would look to enter if this head and shoulders pattern plays out. Um, I don't like the way this chart looks on the four hour. You guys know that. I would not want to enter here or encourage anybody to do so until this head and shoulders pattern was invalidated. That is my analysis, guys. Peace, y'all. Until the next video.